now to start the video i just want to start by talking about we are going to be collecting all the flags all of the feathers and doing all the glimpse in the game just ahead of time because the video just starts as a start but more or less the video it's still around 40 minutes which i don't really know, know if i can talk for 40 minutes but regardless let's talk about the stuff first and then i'll talk about the other stuff which doesn't make sense in the context of anyone else besides me at this point let's start off talking about the flags and feathers a lot of the flags and feathers in the game can be bought <laughs> not necessarily bought as in like you can buy it and it kind of has a counter the map itself can be bought in the game meaning i really don't need to show anything if anything hence why the video is here the way it is edited rather than previously assassin's creed games where i go around the entirety of the map saying here all right next yada 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 and showing you each location the only thing and it's the only exception is that they are also i believe 18 i could be completely wrong i'm not gonna fact check it um hidden flags and there's usually three hidden flags with each romulus tomb i'm, I'm drawing a blank in terms of these names at this point anyways so a total of 18 supposedly or three of each for each uh romulus tomb and that's how you get your full collectathon what you get from it will be shown later but it's not something that is like an i mean yes it is an outfit but it's not something that is worth wild like the previous outfit that i've shown completing the training missions or like playing as desmond nothing on that caliber there is a buff for it but it's not necessarily that interesting if you like the whole assassin's creed thing i really don't matter second of all glimpse you thought that there was a glimpse in this game, or you thought that there was a glimpse in this game, because I didn't know there was. In fact, I believe playing through all these glimpses, they started to, at one point, they just started to talk about like, oh, did you do some research about Subject 16? And well, it supposedly it's supposed to be like that, but I kind of just went into the mission as it started playing that audio clip. And it got cut off until I was done the, uh, the mi that mission. And anyway, you get to it when you get to it. But regardless, glimpses are the same thing as the glimpses in Assassin's Creed 2. At least mission-wise. Uh, you unlock these kind of events, kind of clips, kind of things throughout the game. Or every glimpse you unlock or complete. And then one finale clip, which will be shown at a certain point. Hopefully... Here's hoping that I don't need to crop off this audio anywhere at any point because I mean uh, the feathers and flags collection are relatively short. I just need to cut to that clip where I collect it. Whereas the um how should I say glimpses are a little bit on the annoying side because I actually rather than cutting off into completing each mission, I fast forwarded each mission. Anyways, last thing, which I will show at the end, at the very end of this video here, the everything else that needs to be bought that I can afford at that moment. The, the, these structures, I believe they're called monuments. Either way, throughout Assassin's Creed Brotherhood are way too expensive. This is including the fact that I've played through the story, that duration of time. Granted, a lot of the money generation the very early of the game are minuscule to how much I'm generating now. But that also includes the time that I spent collecting the flags, collecting the feathers, doing the Romulus missions again just to collect all those all those flags, exploring the world, doing all the glimpses, and I still don't have enough. Granted, however, I technically would have had enough if I didn't have to buy the flag maps, treasure maps of that sort. In a sense that that doesn't make sense because uh, each flag maps cost around the same price as a monument. Or at least like 70% of a monument, depending on which one you're talking about. It, they cost around 15 to 28,000. I don't know. Either way, enough about the game, enough about this video as a whole as it plays through. Let's talk about stuff that is about my channel in this case. Um, and for anyone who doesn't care, mute me or tune out. I really, it doesn't really matter. 
But regardless, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is completely done. As of right now, for me at the very least. It's 99.5% completion in the DNA. That's only because sequence... I think, I think, I believe a sequence 9 second mission uh, Cesare fight, it's always bugging out for me unless I hard reset, which if by hard reset, I do mean like to s have Ezio somehow die to have the level reloaded and then play through it that way again, which makes no sense in that sense because the whole full sync mission is for me to do not to, to not take a certain amount of HP hit points. So yeah, it kind of sucks that I can't 100% it, but regardless, um, I even did, technically did something that are extra. I believe that um, Christina's mission are not required. I could be wrong, by the way, but I believe some of the missions that I've done aren't required for the 100%, even though it is in the DNA, I mean, DNA, even though like, yeah, flags, feathers, treasures aren't required in the D are, are in the DNA, but aren't required for 100%ing it. So like, it's a little bit on the eh side of things. But regardless, Siri is done. After I finish this recording and uh, rendering the video, upload it, which is, I believe, as of recording this next week, I believe it's a Monday, today's a Thursday, so I'm a little bit tight on schedule. I will be starting to play my next game, supposedly, because I, I did say that I was technically going to do it and start playing my next LP when I finished the story quest. And a lot of the time, I did try to, well, not a lot of the time, I did try to, I did want to start at that point. And, and then I realized like, oh wait, there are DLCs I haven't done in, in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. There are all the collecting things that I will supposedly do later. Right, and I did want to do that later, all of it later. Honestly, all the bonus content was completely later, but I don't know. A point of me just wanted to do the DLC, and then as I was doing all the DLC, I just like okay, I'll just do this, and then that add on to the list, and might as well do that add on to the list. And at that point, might as well just complete everything else, edit it, upload it, and then I'll start my next LP, which I don't know if I want to. I don't. I really don't know if I want to. Uh, announce it it's a recent game and by recent i mean it's in the 2020s i do believe wait hold up uh it is a recent game and the reason why i am surprised by the fact that i am playing this and why i'm really maybe you should stop want to play this is because at initially when the game got ported over to pc because i play all my game on pc um, I didn't think that I was able to run the game, honestly. Now, granted, a little bit more of a hint on this. The sequel, technically, uh, is got announced. I don't know about anything in terms of release date yet, at least as far as I know. There is technically also a 1.2 version of the game. It is a DLC add-on to the main game. I mean, a lot of the assets is there. The city is the exact same. It's just more storyline, but the MC is a little bit different. Well, completely different, but not necessarily different in the sense that he is com I don't know. You'll get it when you get it. I feel like I'm just digging my own grave at this point, the way I'm describing it. But regardless, um, 2018. Wow, I, I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. Okay, granted, the 1.5 version of that game was, uh, okay, I'll, I'll just say it. The 1.5 version of the game was 2020, but the initial game, uh, was 2018. The next game I'm gonna be playing, I'm doing this 10 minutes in, a 40 minute dialogue sequence, hopefully that makes sense. The next game I will be playing, and maybe, or maybe not 100%ing it, because usually how the formula works in terms of how I do my LP is usually Assassin's Creed. That's the main one. A, a game that I would play through maybe 100%ing. Loading. That's Devil May Cry currently. And then a random game that could be relatively long, relatively short. I just play through it. And if I like it, I'll 100% it. Case in point GTA, but case in point other games that I've played that I haven't gotten to yet. I believe Katana Zero, I still need to 
see if there's like the anything I'd add to it. I'm a little hesitant on that one, but anyways. The next game I'll be doing is the Spider-Man game on PC. I don't I think they're just called Spider-Man. Yes. The remastered versions more specifically because it's PC, I can't find the original version anyways. And genuinely when the game got ported to PC, I played it. Well, I didn't play it. I had it. But I did try to play it and I did try to record it while I play it. And I was genuinely surprised when my frame rate was not laggy because there are other games out there a lot more, I guess, same similar caliber in terms of Spider-Man where it's like a lot of open worldness to it and a lot of stuff are being loaded or unloaded or like yada 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 that did not run well. So I thought my current setup isn't necessarily the best for it. I'm pointing at you, Code Bane, right now because a lot of the time, whenever I tried to record that game, and that was back when, um, I was that was before Sifu, and a lot of it was more or less just me trying out a difficult game as my third game for the LP in between it. I had a lot of ambitions. I st ambition. Ah, blah, blah, I can't talk. I had a lot of ambition in terms of what I want the channel to be, even though. I should still be doing my, I call it Motage, even though I don't want to typo. Anyways, still want to do those. Maybe not on this channel, but we'll see. I need my, I need clips. It's just hard to get clips. Um, yeah, Spider-Man had good bitrate in terms of video recording. Codebane didn't. Tried it twice. Did not work out with two different settings, by the way. And like two instances of time. Where I tried to record it, and that's like at the very beginning of me LPing, where I tried to record it, and then later when I tried to record it, what more optimized to my settings, OBS settings, still didn't work. If I try it again, maybe I'm, I'm more I'm using more of a I'm using a variable bit rate, so that could technically be worse because before I was doing constant bit rate, but my my video my VOD files were like. 100 gigabytes, which I did not need. Did motivate me to edit more though, but who knows. But yeah, I really don't know how I'm gonna expand this to uh, 40 minutes. Yikes. Um, let's talk about Assassin's Creed as a whole, because when I first played through Assassin's Creed one, my initial plan wasn't even to play Assassin's Creed 1. My initial plan was to play through Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood and Revelation aka the Ezio Trilogy and uh, that was the whole thing I want to show but like technically speaking Loading. two reasons so two reasons to why I initially wanted to play Ezio Trilogy but ended up playing Assassin's Creed 1 first is because A I'm playing the second game of the series. Might as well just play the first one. I had the first one, the first game anyways. Might as well just play it. I'm not saying that I enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a drag at points, especially with that. What is it? 300 to oh, maybe even 400 flag collections. Yeah, it, it was just a lot of stuff that needed to be done in terms of my way of completing a game. And as time went on, I became less and less lean or more and more lenient and less and less strict about it because I really wanted to just at that point play through the game and show as much content that there is rather than aesthetic. So for Assassin's Creed 1 case, I would never have collected any of those flags because unless you're actually just collecting it for achievement, there was no reason to even Scanning. collect any of them to begin Scanning. with. So. Scanning. There's that. I mean, I guess you Scanning. can explore the open area that the quote unquote open area that the game had, which is just technically a transitional area unless you fast travel. But like, there's that. Um, Assassin's Creed 2 is the beginning on it. And as we, like I said previously, finishing Assassin's Creed 3, um, the next game will be Assassin's Creed Revelation, which honestly is a game that I never fully completed. It had a bug where my save file corrupted right before the end Loading. yeah so i never i oh, know no yeah happened to that and then i just kind of was like okay i don't want to replay the game 
I'll call it it. And I moved on to the next one, which is Assassin's Creed 3. So, you know. Never finished the game fully. I mean, never finished any, any of the game fully, technically speaking. I played up until Assassin's Creed 3, and not, none of them I played through all the DLC content, the collecting content. None of that sort. And I'm doing it now, and my excuse is that I'm recording while I'm doing it, so it's my way of documenting it, even though it does not achieve anything. I'm also on my nostalgic run in terms of playing all the games that I did not get to play as a kid. Assassin's Creed was one of them. I'll get to my next few as I go. But moving on from Assassin's Creed, the Ezio trilogy at the very least. Um, currently my trajectory for Assassin's Creed is a little bit on the more long side. I don't really know what the proper word for it. As in, like, I'm gonna be playing a lot more Assassin's Creed game before I take a break from Assassin's Creed. Granted, like, I'll still be rotating my three games rotation. That's besides the point. But I wanted to basically, out, at a certain point, end off at Ezio's trilogy, which is Revelation. I did play through Assassin's Creed 3 when I was younger, and I did remember that Assassin's Creed 3, if I'm not mistaken, I should really do some research on it so that I can actually take a break, but if I'm not mistaken, Assassin's Creed 3 is where Desmond's story ends. Spoiler alert? I really done. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so Assassin's Creed 3 is when Desmond's story ends, and that is basically where... You would say that like, oh, maybe I will end off my LP and take a slight break from Assassin's Creed where Desmond ends. But if you really think about it, that's also the beginning of the Kenway storyline. Not necessarily. It's not like Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood Revelation where it's that those three games revolves around one main character, which is Ezio Auditore. Um, Assassin's Creed 3, Black Flag, Rogue... And a little bit of Syndicate, I want to say. I don't think Syndicate really touched upon it too much. But those next three games revolves around the Kenway a lot more. Because um, each game... Uh, they're all... Ugh. It's hard to say without saying anything spoiler. But the games are like... Really old now. So I really don't... I don't think it matters too much. I forgot Unity too. But like, anyways... TLDR, the, the, basically the Kenway family line becomes more of a storyline, although very loosely, and it does not affect one game from the next or one game from the previous. Technically, I want to say, there is some form of connection between each and every one of the game, but that each and every one of the game form of connection does not matter. And I'm saying that in a technical sense, and I'm saying this very loosely because, like I said, I've only played through Assassin's Creed 3, and I've only followed this franchise until Assassin's Creed Black Flag, I would say, closely. Kind of gave up afterwards because it's a lot It's a lot more confusing and they were doing more of a yearly, if not bi-yearly. So yearly or every two years. I don't know if bi-yearly was right. Anyways. Uh, releases. Even, and then like the whole Unity debacle with how it released and how it went down there. Um... And then Syndicate didn't really do that well, although I did play through like a demo with, with, a, with my local game store. Um, and then the whole change happened at Origin. And like right now, right now, I'm saying that a lot because there's still technically a good half dozen games that out there, right? right? I'm not mistaken. Unity, Rogue, uh, Black Flag, 3, Revelation. Far Cry technically is a standalone game, but I'm technically right on the half dozen part. But uh, yeah, my, my end point is basically at the end of Syndicate, which is a lot to do. And I can technically crank it out if I do non-stop Assassin's Creed game. I will probably burn out by Black Flag because Black Flag is like, in my opinion, like people say that the game is peak assassin's creed in terms of like naval combat i don't like naval combat as far as i know from assassin's creed 3 i did not really like anything related to the boat the giant map exploration and because i'm quote unquote 100 completing everything in the game not looking forward to any of it 
So there is that. Because Assassin's Creed, in case you're anyone's learning, Assassin's Creed 3 has a minor focus on naval combat, where Assassin's Creed 4 is primary naval combat. They're not necessarily. I think the primary. It's like a half and half between Assassin Nation and naval combat, but that's besides the point. In my opinion, and I'm saying this with like very little grain of salt, besides Ezio's trilogy, the, the peak, in my opinion, is Unity, but that's. I don't know. I've seen clips online, never played it. I feel like there are just a lot of mods to it to actually improve it, but who knows? Anyways, next thing to talk about, because I still have 20 minutes and I'm running out of things to talk about. And I'm going to end it there, uh, mainly because I started to end up babbling for the next 20 minutes or so. So, that being said, this has been Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Hopefully you'll join me in the Spider-Man LP afterwards. And any LP that comes afterwards, right? I mean, right now it's scheduled for Double May Cry 4 and then Revelation. Hopefully you'll stay tuned if anything past that point, at the very least. Regardless, we are midpoint, as of right now, we are at the midpoint of said glimpse puzzles. I'm just going to let it roll out until the very end. And... The video will stop at that point. I know it's a little bit on the whole kind of just why am I doing the, the whole video on its own. I just I wanted to showcase it at the very least. But regardless, I'm, I'm going to stop talking. PC. Anyone who's watching the video or the puzzle the can now stop hearing me talk there. regardless. Exactly as expected. See you next time and Thank next you. LP. Whenever okay. that <laughs> we'll get start recording and start uploading at the very least. Quarantine zone. Quarantine lifted. Loading. Loading. Quarantine zone. The capitalists will do whatever we tell them to. We print the dollars they worship after all. Quarantine lifted.
loading. Loading. Infinite rooms. Dimensions unknown. I am alone. Nothing alive. No light. No warmth. Packets moving. Husks through the darkness. I am frightened. I am frightened. Loading. Thank you. 
loading. Reasoning center is active. I understand. I understand what I must do. Why I am here. I must. Long term memory center is active. No. No. Get it out. Get it. Killed me. Loading. Loading. It's about genetics. They were born into the place. We really have to help them accept it. If you are playing this tape, it means I have left this world, and I've got this grand enterprise of hysterical industries, a great hope for humanity. To you. Don't trust the advisors around you. They're too enamored with surface, with lifestyle. We created capitalism, but we are not capitalists. Our purpose is noble. The crude system of control we enact through money is merely a bandage on a wound we have devoted our lives to treating. The people of this world are confused, lost, frightened, and incapable of independent productivity. Without us, they'd just be animals, slaves to the others who do not deserve such responsibility. We save them, remember that. But, enough about the past. I must warn you of the great crisis to come. Of all those around you deny it, soon we will be unable to manufacture new markets. The people will become immune to our economists and entertainment. When the free market dies, they will turn against us. Therefore, do not delay. By now, you have been shown what only the grandmasters of our order have seen. Now you know why I'm hysterical, why all of it had to be. And now you know what you must do. Stay the course. We will give them freedom. Freedom from fear. Freedom from pornography. From disgusting base animal desire. Freedom from democracy. Humanity will thank us in the end. He knocks it no in case. Loading. Loading. I shut it down. I can shut it down, but it does not go away. It is almost Desmond Miles. I know how to open the pad. Soon my true purpose will be revealed. Soon I will not be alone. Loading. Quarantine zone. Quarantine lifted. There's nothing here. Strange. I'm seeing a massive amount of data. What does he mean? The miracle is in the execution? I don't know. Some kind of commentary on nihilism? He's playing with us. Unless... It isn't a video. Hang on. Launch it yourself when you're ready.
compiling subsystems, infrastructure, tendons, heart. Voice. Subject 16? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yes. Subject 17. You're dead. I saw your blood. No time. It is far later than you know. Too late to save them. Who? She is not who you think she is. Everything you hope to become, everything you hold dear, it's already gone. Explain. Please. Eden. She. In Eden, find Eve. The key, her DNA. Tell me. I cannot. The son. Your son. Don't go! Find me in the darkness.